The marshals wouldn't tell us exactly how their intelligence gathering worked, but their team back in the States had managed to track down the phone number for an American businessman they believed had connected with Caitlin Armstrong at some point. We didn't know what city he was in, so we decided, hey, let's just cold call him. So we call him, and we're on the conference room. He answers, and we're like, hey, it's the U.S. Marshals. Uh, my name is Mark, and he goes, I don't want any click. Just hangs up like it's a, like it, a telemarker. Yeah, a telemarker, right? a scam call. Yeah. After three or four call attempts, the businessman finally stayed on the line to answer the marshal's questions. And we actually end up sending a picture of Caitlin while we're on the phone with him. He looks at it and he goes, yes, but she doesn't look like that and she's not using that name. And did he tell you her new name? He did. It was Beth. Beth. This was Beth. Going by Beth. 